stage one, stage two, press for flight. High flow engine purge enabled. Deluge activated. T-minus 20 seconds and counting. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Ignition. two, one. Ignition. One per personal, uh, no nominal. T plus 38 seconds and our 31st Electron has lifted off from the pad at Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1. Electron is powering its way to orbit for General Atomics. The next milestone after liftoff is max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is the moment during launch when the forces on Electron are at their peak, causing the most amount of stress on the rocket. Let's listen in for the call from Mission Control that Electron has cleared through max Q. Clear max Q. HV battery discharge abdominal. That's confirmation from Mission Control. Electron has successfully throttled down, passed through max Q, and ramped back up ahead of stage separation. We're currently traveling at over 2,000 kilometers per hour and at an altitude of over 20 kilometers. The next three milestones happen in relatively quick succession, within seconds of each other. First things first is Miko or main engine cutoff. The nine Rutherford engines will throttle down and then shut down completely before step two of this sequence. Separation of the first and second stages is next, and you'll see the first stage drop away from the stage two body. And lastly, to continue our journey to orbital insertion, we'll see ignition of the single Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage, continuing the journey to deliver the Gazelle spacecraft to its destination. Fifteen seconds to Miko. Miko confirm. Stage separation successful. Stage ignition. And with the nozzle extension on the Stage 2 Rutherford engine glowing, we've had successful MECO, separation, and Stage 2 ignition. Now that we've passed through the harshest part of Earth's atmosphere, we no longer need to protect the payloads, so we can eject the fairing halves to save some mass. Let's keep an eye on your screens to catch a glimpse. You might have caught a flash of it there on your screen. This fairing has successfully ejected. Stage two is continuing nominally with its General Atomics payload to orbit. The vehicle is currently at over 120 kilometers of altitude and reaching speeds of more than 8,500 kilometers per hour. Stage two propulsion still nominal. Hot swap successful. And battery hot swap is confirmed. The stage two engine is powering the general atomics payload to its destination orbit at 750 kilometers above Earth at an inclination of 98 degrees. No, not the 90s pop group, but a sun synchronous orbit or SSO. This allows the satellite to be positioned over the same location on Earth at the same solar time every day.
Seco confirm. Nominate a transfer orbit. Stage three separation confirmed.